Hello and welcome back viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olisi Nube. Uh, you will realize that the background that I'm shooting this video from is not the usual background that I always use. That is because today is the 15th of, of December and we are already packing up and putting away most of our equipment uh, in preparation for the December holidays because today is our last day at work. Uh, but before uh, I sign off, I decided to make this video especially for you subscribers and viewers of AVG News because you made this year so great for us. Uh, we began to take this channel seriously uh, during the second half uh, of this year when we realized that there was hunger out there for information there was hunger out there for content that is different from the rest and you showed so much support to us all of you it's not a particular country it's not citizens of a particular country but uh, africans as a whole and, and our top three uh, viewerships based on countries uh, are ranked as follows number one is south africa number two is zimbabwe number three is the united kingdom and all in all we received more than six hundred and eight thousand views this year from the time that we took uh, this channel seriously and then you gave us more than 1.8 million viewed minutes you gave us more than nine thousand likes on our videos this is so marvelous you are so amazing and i would like especially to thank uh members of operation Dudula, because even though you came there with negative comments you also gave us a lot of advices you also gave us a lot of views most uh, of the loyal uh, the most loyal of our viewers are actually uh people who support uh, operation to doula who also I can tell uh, value being African they are worried about uh, the way South Africa has been made to carry the burden of the whole of Africa and that is principally because we as Africans have refused to choose good leadership despite uh, despite the signs the telltale signs of bad leadership especially in our opposition parties and the ruling parties we have continued to stick with those we have created a lot of dichotomies in africa in zimbabwe we have zanu pf and mdc and now we have zanu pf and triple c despite the fact that we have more than 300 registered parties and we are still going for these parties one of them is looting our resources is arresting people is killing democracy uh, it's even looting uh, the leak that is there in terms of state coffers the other one is inviting sanctions on our country and we still support those they have shown us that they don't have anything to offer in terms of new ideologies in terms of new leadership but we've continued to stick with them next year we are going to elections 2023 and we will still stick with them the triple c and mdc combined since 2000 that is for 22 years have run down our cities they can't even collect garbage and all they do is give us excuses that zanu pf is tempering here and there yet we know this is all lies zanu pf is even worse they will always cry sanctions cry sanctions cry supportage at the end of the day we know that they are looting they are failing to arrest corruption they are failing to deal with their own members while looting state resources and we still stick with them this calls for a new uh, way of thinking in terms of african voters in terms of zimbabwean voters because we have continued to be a burden to other africans and these people of from operation Tudula, despite taking it the wrong way are telling us the truth that we're failing to take the truth that we're failing to accept that we are by and large responsible for the situation that we find ourselves in as Zimbabweans and we thank them for that but we are saying that there is a way of dealing with this there is of a way of engaging with people from migrant producing countries and putting pressure even on our own governments be it south african government be it zimbabwean government as citizens we must put pressure on them to say what is it that you are doing to make sure that the people 
that are suffering under this kind of dictatorships uh, get a better life and find it uh, worthy living in their own countries to fight the next day but you cannot fight the next day when you don't know that for certain you'll be alive the next day so the first and foremost uh, port of call would be for us to put pressure on these governments like the Zimbabwean government the Somali government the Ethiopian government the Mozambican government to value human life politics doesn't mean that we should kill each other politics that doesn't mean that we should torture each other politics doesn't mean that we should harass each other politics doesn't mean that we should intimidate each other it means we should call each other to the table and engage on how best we can solve the crisis that we find ourselves in calling each other sellouts calling each other puppets of the west will not be the best solution so these are some of the, of the issues that operation to members are raising but also we differ with them in then saying that migrants are the problems or are the problem we know that the biggest problem in any country is the government and the citizenry at large because the governments are elected by uh, these citizens but it cannot be true that if a mere Zimbabwean who is trying to scrounge for the little sense he can get working as a domestic worker in South Africa is the problem to a South African who is living in Soweto. The main problem is who owns the means of production? How are they handling that? Who owns the, the national pace? How are they distributing the proceeds from that national press, uh, national pace? Who owns uh, who has the power to distribute opportunities, who has the power to distribute wealth. That is where the problem is. And in South Africa, the main problem is that the majority are not in charge of the economy. It cannot be then uh, the, 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 the minority in terms of migrants who should shoulder that play. Migrants are here because they failed to exist in their countries under dictatorships, under political upheavals, under war, and under uh, shrinking employment opportunities. So the best way to tackle this is to have dialogue with them, hear out their cases, give them our own ideas on how best they can solve that and if needs be, let's join the solidarity war so that at the end of the day, the migrants that are flooding South Africa find peace in their own countries and go back so that uh, even those countries that are producing migrants now get the capacity to host migrants so that the distribution of migrants doesn't always see them being flattened, flattening one particular country, but spread across several countries so that they can shoulder the blame uh, collectively. I mean, the, the, the pattern collectively. But also, we must not take note that migrants are also bringing skills. They are bringing in uh, a lot of business, and we should take advantage of that instead of fighting them. Uh, so, all in all, I would like to say thank you very much, subscribers and viewers of AVG News. Keep coming, keep giving those ideas, keep posting those comments because they make us uh, tick, they tell us uh, the things that we don't know, they give us a different world view of events. So thank you very much uh, to all those subscribers and viewers who kept on watching our content. We will bring more content next year, better content next year, better quality next year, and uh, different programs next year. Thank you.